Hey, my vegan peeps. Want to see how I made this vegan fettuccine Alfredo? Well, stay tuned. So first, you're going to need to start with one pound of vegan-friendly fettuccine noodles. When I make my noodles, I just love to put, you know, one tablespoon of olive oil or any type of, you know, oil of your choice. And while that's rumbling and getting ready to boil, you will need um, one and a half cups of raw cashews. I soak them in hot water for about 20 minutes. Then I'm going to just dump those one and a half cups of soaked raw cashews into my Ninja. And then I'm also going to add one cup of vegan Parmesan cheese. I use the Follow Your Heart brand. And then I'm gonna also add in one and a half cups of vegetable broth. Once that's all in there, you're just gonna whip that up, just blend it till it's really creamy. So for time, you know, purposes, I sped it up, but I blended it for about a minute and a half until it was really creamy. Now, here's the water, it's boiling, and I'm just gonna place the noodles in there like that. Nothing fancy, sometimes I break them in half, but I make a mess when I do that, so yeah. Um. So in my cast iron pot, I got the Nut Pods Creamer. Make sure you get just the original, don't get the hazelnut, because it's kind of like the same color packaging. And I did that before and it was like a disaster. So anyway, pour that into the um, into your pan. It doesn't have to be cast iron, that's just what I grabbed. And then after that, get the um, Parmesan cheese and raw cashew mixture and pour that in like so. So over the past three years, I found out that this works best because you know fettuccine kind of has that that creamy texture but you know the vegan you know whipping cream wasn't just doing it for me and I kind of wanted a little more texture in my sauce so I just you know tried different things and this actually works pretty well so I'm just gonna mix it all in with my rubber spatula because you know we can't be scraping up them pans like that so if you're a pan scraper, shame on you, all right? So I'm just whipping it up like that. And then I'm going to add in one tablespoon of vegan butter, okay? Oh, and also my heat is on like medium high. You know, be patient with your food. Your food don't have to be cooking on high all the time. Some people just cook on high all the time and the stuff be cooking real fast and it be burnt up. So just medium high okay um so now i'm going to add in two and a half teaspoons of pink salt now like i always say salt is to taste okay so if you you know hypertension or if you just you know love salt or you don't love salt do what you do but i put in two and a half teaspoons of pink salt and you know it also kind of leaves just enough room in case somebody else want to add just a little bit you know what i'm saying so um as far as pepper goes i put in a one and a half teaspoon of ground black pepper and i mixed it on in and you see that little piece of butter right there that's how you know i don't have this on like high 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 heat because it's raw cashews in there and if you cook raw cashews on super high heat you're gonna burn it and you don't wanna do that, okay? So, you know, just medium high. Now I'm adding in um, one third cups of Parmesan cheese and I'm just sprinkling that in, you know. So the package of the Parmesan cheese, you're basically gonna use all of it. It was just like a little bit left in that little, you know, container. So, um, and also the cheese, it's $4.99. This whole meal was super, super cheap, y'all, I believe it was maybe ten dollars all together so everybody should have salt and pepper at their house and you know so when the noodles were done i drained the noodles and i poured it into the sauce Ooh, okay and my children they was just waiting for the food i was like hey hey it's gonna be ready in a minute all right go sit down go sit down mommy go sit down it's gonna be ready in a minute okay so yes you guys it smells good and you know what if you're not vegan and you're watching this you're probably like what how does that taste like fettuccine alfredo because i used to be like that okay and then until i tried it i was like oh hold up you mean to tell me raw cashews can actually taste like 
Alfredo. Okay, so now we just need a little bit of color. So, you know, I kind of whipped out the little parsley flakes just for presentation purposes. You know, put a little bit like that. And if you also want to make it a little Creole style, just add some Creole seasoning to it, okay? So, that is the pasta. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Ooh. Y'all, it was so good. I hope you guys make it. And if you do, please let me know how it turned out. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Bye!